Today we're going to be making a shirt with this colored vinyl, which is a pumpkin spice type colored vinyl. It's burnt orange or Texas orange. And we're going to put it on this black Bella and Canvas shirt. It's 52% cotton, 48% polyester. I got this shirt from Jiffy Shirts. We are going to go ahead and cut our image, which I've already done. And then you're going to weed out the pieces that don't belong. And once you take out those pieces, you're going to set it up and put it on your shirt. First thing you need to do is grab a lint roller and take off any excess pieces that are on there to be sure that your vinyl adheres properly. Once they're removed, you're going to find the center of your shirt. I like using a T-square and this T-square, you place it on your shirt and you're going to measure out the middle of your shirt. Then you're going to measure about three inches down or you could use your three fingers, place them on the shirt in order to find the center of it and place your image down. For the image, I like to fold it in half and find the center of the image. Found the center, you can bend it down a little bit so that it marks the center for you. Then you're just going to place it in the middle of your T-square and make sure that both lines line up in the middle of your T-square. Then you remove your T-square and you're ready to press your shirt. Once you find the center, you move your shirt up so that none of the seams are touching on the press. Because if the seams are touching on the press, it could lead to an uneven press and can cause your vinyl to lift up in certain spots. If this is not possible, you can use a pressing pillow underneath your design. Then you set your heat press temperature to 310 degrees for 10 seconds. You have pressed your design. You remove the carrier sheet as quickly as possible while it's still hot because it's a hot peel and your shirt is all finished. And there you have it, a perfect fall t-shirt. My blood type is pumpkin spice.